you doing? My name is Kasim. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to give you my, my thought process and my thesis on Tesla battery day, how to trade it and how I'm planning on trading it. Um, what I'm looking at, um, some of the charts we're gonna we're gonna look into it and break everything down but before we get get to that if you like what you see on this channel so far please subscribe i need you to stick around i want you to stick around you're gonna learn so much as i go through my journey on building my wealth and you know just building my financial security and hopefully for future generations you're gonna learn so much so stick around like this video subscribe to the channel and also share this channel with other people that you think will benefit from this channel. I appreciate you. Let's get into the video. Welcome back. So here is my my trade for the day. This is today's trade. Here's my trade for the day. I, I, I played Amazon, QQQ, and Tesla. On Amazon, I, was, I made $58. On uh, QQQ, 21 and uh, on Tesla it was 800, 820, uh, 27 dollars. Bring, bring my total profit for the day at 900 dollars. So I'm up 900 dollars for the day. But what I'm doing is I'm holding on to the trade because this Tesla trade that I have right here is basically for uh, for Monday, right? Uh, th this is test. This is for Tesla's earnings play. No, not earnings play. The battery day. Um, I personally believe that the battery day is going to be a huge catalyst for Tesla for, for it to be able to push up to maybe $550, $600. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on just what they say in, in the battery day, what Elon is, uh, what Elon's vision vision for Tesla is. So based on that, I can I I will start doing. I will start basically um, buying two weeks calls out. Which is which is exactly what I'm doing. This one right here expires next week, next week Friday, which will be after battery day. So most likely this this right here will probably really push uh, my profit up to maybe five or six thousand. I will do a recap video to uh, update you guys on how much I make I, I made on that. But let's get into the chart here. My thesis for for that. So this is a five day. I don't know if I have a thirty day. Uh, seven minute day, but it's a 30 day, seven minute minute chart. So, in the as as you all know, with the market, the market has been basically beaten down uh, for the past like um, two weeks. Like, all through our last week, the market was just dead basically. So, I've been watching Tesla from this point, right? I've been watching it, and we had a huge run up over here, came right back down. A little run up came back down so from here we just basically seen consolidation consolidation and this was last week right if we look at the overall picture this was this was last week so I did some research and I'm like okay you know what I think this Tesla uh, Tesla battery day would be a huge catalyst for Tesla for you to push the stock up um, so around um, this time around this time I did a I did the call option for next week Friday because of bad reading so I believe that Tesla is gonna have a pretty big um, big run-up for battery day so I figured let me just jump in, jump in early before um, before battery day and if you go here and look at year to date see what happened this was last week market pushed down but when I saw all this consolidation right here this especially this this these two days I saw those and I'm, I'm like okay I think Tesla will probably have a nice push up and then um, I jumped in I must have jumped in maybe on this candle or this candle remember this this is a bigger time period this is yet today so I jumped in on this candle and so far this push up has made me gain um, that thousand dollars that you just saw nine hundred dollars today and I do believe that it's gonna go back and go past this top right here the highest price which you have here the highest price for tesla at, at so far here today is um 
five hundred and two dollars. I think most likely we're gonna we're gonna blow past it for for battery day. Um, Tesla has a tendency of hitting double tops, like right here at this point, right at this point as well. Let, let me see if I can zoom in here. Right at this point, when Tesla was right here, it hit the double top and it came back down. Obviously, this was during the coronavirus virus time. And then quickly, it started going up again. Look, from here, from this point, you see, from this point, it basically bounced off it, bounced off it, and then went back up. So Tesla has, we like, same here too. Right here, right here, it bounced, bounced off it here, went, went higher. So my prediction, my prediction for this Tesla trade most likely too will be what we'll see is for the next couple of days running up towards battery day, I believe that Tesla is going to hit the, the double top here as well. It's going to hit hit this and bounce off of it and, and head up higher. Most that most likely that's that's what is that's what's probably going to happen based on the history. Because right here it went up, came back down hit hit this top came back down and then once we bounce off of the previous high it went it went up so i think it's the same trend that's pretty much happening at this point right here it's the same trend that's pretty much happening we're probably gonna see another push up and we're gonna we're gonna basically take out the previous high and it's gonna push up that's my prediction for uh battery day I'm also going to switch over to my other chart, which is Ichimoku. I love Ichimoku. You, you guys do not understand how much I love trading with Ichimoku. Let me, let me, let me uh, pop, that, pop that on and do an, another an analysis on that in a second. This is, um, this, is my, this is my Ichimoku setup. This is how I, this is how I use Ichimoku. Um, I did a video previously on Ichimoku. I'm going to link it up here for right up here for you to watch um if you want to get a better understanding of how to use this chart i recommend you just go watch that video so yeah i recommend you go watch that video but yeah let's get into this if i click on year to date date here for for test uh for test like here let me see if i what's going on with this year to date so yeah if i click on year to date i went on year to date here right here year to date as you can see, Tesla has basically gone straight up throughout the past year. Even though we had a huge downturn during the pandemic period, as you can see right here. As you can see, we had a huge downturn during the pandemic. But it literally bounced off, literally bounced off the 200-day moving average here. And then it started moving up. up. Almost came down, bounced, bounced off the the 20 here bounce off the 20 and the tanking and then just basically been going been going up from there um this move right here i want to talk about this move this this move down here from here to there that was basically the past week and a half that was like the past week and a half so this this move was pretty big and then i got in i got in in the trade right here the trade the tesla trade i just previously told you I got in it right here and I do believe it's gonna break this high because Tesla Tesla has a tendency really has a tendency of breaking previous highs right um I believe that most likely it's gonna keep on going up and be, and it's gonna break this this previous high and the way the, the way that I know it's gonna do that is because charts repeat itself it repeats itself over and over and over and over again like that's what charts that's that's what they do like they repeat itself so right here too you could see you can see right here right right up top here that was it broke it broke it broke it from this point came down broke it came down kind of consolidated here and then end up breaking it up here and pushing pushing higher i can i can like go back go back and do that it did it it did the same thing here as well as you can see here I broke it granted it came it came down this was during the coronavirus time it came down there so like I, I i believe in this trade i think um people are underestimating the fact that wall street 
people are underestimating the fact that um, Tesla will be coming up with self-driving. They're going to be improving their cars. They're going to be doing a lot of good things. And it's going to help push the stock higher. And it will break this previous high. That's that's one of my theses. If I look here, go to one month, show you the performance for the past month here. Let me let me just readjust this really quickly so we, we get that top. Okay. So this move, I did not play this move. This would have been pretty big. I did not play that move. But this, I, I, I got in here. I got in around this area and we've seen a pretty pretty big uh, big push up. Now as you can see the cloud here, the cloud is basically still just still forming, right? The cloud is just still forming. Most likely what would happen is as, as the price go up, the cloud will be getting wider and wider and um, it will keep on going up. I, I, I strongly believe that from now to the, to, from now until uh, battery day, they're going to be a, they're going to be a big push towards battery day. Now, after battery day, most likely people are gonna dump, dump it. Especially hedge funds that they that they've entered the trade with like big box. After battery day, uh, most likely people are gonna dump it. But who knows? Nobody really knows. Uh, but looking at this right here, as you can see here, look, the 200 broke. The 200 and the 20 basically broke. When this happened, this is a bullish sign. This is a very strong bullish sign that to the upside so most likely it means that the stock will keep on going up every time it happens i can go back and show you guys an, an example this is also an example here this is the 200 day moving average right here and this right here is a 20 moving average every time they break every time they break the stock always get a huge push up huge push like right here they broke here they broke right here and then it had this big run up, big run up. Um, let me see if I can find another example um, of that. Perfect, right here, right here as well, right here. At this point, at this point, it broke, it broke, and then it had a nice big run up. So my thesis going into battery day, I believe, I believe that that's the same thing as that is forming right now. I believe that that's the same thing that is forming here. Um, it's gonna break um, when this happened. This 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 move right here. When when the 20 when the 20 moving average breaks this 200 moving average at this point, most likely they, it's gonna keep on going up and it's probably gonna go up and break this previous high. So that is my trade analysis on Tesla. Let's let's go back now and look at uh, what the option market is saying about tesla right now so getting back into it um let's pop back in here and look at the option chain uh this is obviously my 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 uh the current trade that i have on it i'm up thirteen hundred dollars i've only held this trade for two days so far um but let's let's see so look um the implied implied volatility is like 143 percent right let, let, let me show you what open interest what open interest is saying uh, all open interest as compared to as compared to to, to puts look at this we have seven thousand three three thousand bunch of one thousands twenty thousand the contract that I mean is um is just two thousand so not a lot of people are taking taking that contract right now uh look at this nineteen thousand so open interest on on this date on the 25th expiring this week friday is pretty high and as you can see here if you look at volume as well volume are pretty high as well volume are really high so most likely what this is telling me that people are people are also people are betting on the upside on the stock they're betting on the upside let's look here and look at the puts and look at the puts side here if we look at the money if we look right here at the money we look at this information as you can see all the numbers here are pretty high as compared to the put side right as compared to the puts i think what i think is people that are, that have this current open interest on 
on the put side what i think is that that they just hedge it so those people that were, that probably have like tons of contracts open on this side they hedge in that trade which perfectly makes sense like if you if you're putting you know 40 50 thousand dollars on the trade it would be stupid for you not to hedge your trade you know so what they most likely that's what they're doing they, they're probably hedging their trades here so i but you can see the volume volume is not much here um open interest is not much a lot of people are jumping on this one this is like six thousand as compared to all this open interest here and, and all this big volume so the option market is basically implying that there's a there's a hundred and forty one forty three percent chance that um that we're pretty much gonna be in the money those people that have uh, this open interest here so that is my take that is my analysis on Tesla like I said here I believe that this will break break this previous high even before battery day I believe it will break the previous high so we'll wait and see let me see what this is doing after market right now um, well yep we're flat flat consolidation after market so today today was also a crazy day day trading trading Tesla it was just mad crazy well yeah let's just finish up here and do a recap today today's trades big opportunity here this was a nice big opportunity that's one opportunity one big move then here as well is also another big move right here this is a big move and as you can see my my indicator my signal right here signaled me signal that this would be a bullish move but yeah this was one big move here basically like two to three big moves on tesla today but i believe we're gonna break the previous high like i said so i would uh i'll update you guys as soon as i possibly can that's, it. that's just my analysis that's just my thinking my thinking process on that particular trade so please do not take this as financial advice that's just a legal disclaimer i'm not telling you to buy any stock or sell any stock i'm just sharing my thinking process um as to how i'm how and why i'm taking that trade so please do not take this as financial advice and uh with that out of the way like the video please i need your help like the video subscribe and uh, share this with other people because I'm a strong believer in sharing information so share this with other people that you think will benefit uh, uh, from this type of content I'm a dividend investor I'm a day trader and I love to talk about money all the time so I will be bringing more financial literacy videos to you guys as soon as I possibly can so please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time have a good one bye